Now Steve died in the month of May, Colonel of Truth indeed, because he allegedly have died first on April 16th. Not only he posted on YouTube on April 21st and created his WordPress on April 22nd, but now we have him resurrected on April 26th for the occasion of the Entrepreneurial with Marek Borzestowski. This Steve aka Soulless PRIT, his pen name is such a phony that he is faking his own death. He must have been reading this article here. Alright, let's face the facts, your life sucks, every day you feel like someone's shitting on you. When you wake up you feel a fleeting moment of joy and eagerness. But all too quickly you remember the sad details of your life and instantly your head explodes in a painful headache you protest. You have no friends, so who do you turn to? Well, of course, you turn to something you can rely on. The internet. For years the internet has provided you with laughter, videos, games, fun, hassle free shopping, super fun and money, so why can't it provide you with a life and with friends? It can be the brother, mother, father and sister you never had, but that's the thing. Even on the internet, your existence is futile. They ignore you, fortunately for you and your loved ones. Your constant state of loneliness and self-hate has enforced you yet, however. Like lonely offshore rocks eroded by the constant pulsing of the waves of apathy. You have been worn down over the years as time has passed. You've begun to become a psychopath, the sort of psychopath who craves attention beyond all other mortal joys. If you don't have attention, you'll wilt, so what do you do? It's obvious that reality has all but crushed you. And do you really want to potter around as a mediocre member of this forum and an average user of that site? The sort of user who is routinely ignored, well, do you, there's one thing that's been scientifically tested, it's 100% effective and safe to use. You'll see the effects in days, but what is it? You cry, it's faking your own death on the internet, of course, no, don't act disgusted. You know you've always wanted to do it, it's been wandering around in the back of your mind. For quite some time, your subconscious has always nagged away at you, now, in clear steps. We're going to lay out the chance of a lifetime. It'll all be as clear as a giraffe juggling pears on a sunny Sunday afternoon. All you have to do is reach out with your bony fingers and grasp at it. Go on, grasp, grasp. I tell you, grasp at IT, that's a pathetic effort. I see grasping is not your thing. Ah oh, well. Hopefully, dying will be. Let's hope you're good at something. A. Reasons to fake your own death putting aside the fact that real life has proven to be very difficult to gain attention in. Consider these points, nothing you ever do is going to get you anywhere near as much attention as cyber suicide is guaranteed to get you. You could go to the moon and back and you still wouldn't get any attention. You could be ripped to pieces by a pack of rabid dogs and you'd struggle even to incite mess. Maybe a few, lol s but not else, when you commit cyber suicide. Even if all the comments you get are, thank god he's gone. You'll be in the limelight once you've faked your own death you could spend a little more time with your family. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Just you and your family and a little bit of fun, er. What do you think if you don't have a family? Or if your family doesn't want to go anywhere near you? Then you can amuse yourself at home with your dolls. The above point about spending more time with your family was of course a joke. You could, however, try training raccoons to do tricks. Method did it, so you've decided to take the rocky, but ever so rewarding path to internet suicide. Well, first things first. You have to decide the method by which you will do we kill yourself. There's lots of methods to pick from, sod roll up your sleeves, link and prepare to make a decision. It's important that you pick the right death for you. 
come across as a shy user on your chosen site. Then picking the death by suicide bombing, great fireballs of doom and pain and death shall rain. Down on the infidels option. Is probably not the cleverest idea, not that that's an option, unless. If you've had experience in this. Then, by all means, feel free to customize your method of cyber suicide. So here's a fairly definitive list of every method online suicidist noob should choose from. Sickness, sickness is a well-rounded choice. So let's have a, a detailed look at what's so good and what's not so good about this option. One of the best thing about sickness and diseases is that you can steadily build up the situation. It doesn't have to be a dramatic ending. You have the chance to be alive while receiving sympathy. If you play your cards well, You'll quickly be in hearing your username suffixed with is such a strong person. Other members of the site will begin to fall over themselves to help you. People will leave you reassuring messages that will include lines such as anything I can do. We're coping brilliantly. You've always been my favorite dying user on this site and or you look sexy in the skirt. And if people start to become bored with your predicament, you can easily set the fires of interest. Going again. By relating near-death experiences, there are, of course, some major downsides to sickness. It does take a fair bit of research, and since we know that you are not good at many things, it's highly likely that you do not exactly triumph in this area either. Research can be boring and time-consuming, and when you have such a busy life, like yours, you can't afford to waste time. However, research can really be worth it. It's critical that you stage the progression of your chosen disease carefully and with consideration for detail. Be mindful of using this method on medical websites as medical websites are likely to have medical people on them who tend to have a certain expertise in the medical area, an area which is usually deemed to include sickness. You want to avoid being caught faking a disease at all costs, at all costs. Trust me on that one.